Ghana as a country hasn't seen any civil war since her independence in 1957. Despite some coup d'etats, the country has enjoyed fair stability in terms of governance. However, successive governments having taken advantage of the peaceful atmosphere the country has seen over the last 57 years to develop. Today, Tanzania, which is a young country compared to Ghana and doesn't come anywhere close to Ghana's rich mineral resources, is more developed and has better infrastructure than Ghana. What is even more sad is the fact Ghana is still struggling to deal with solid waste management. Filth has engulfed most cities in the country. A sharp contrast to Ghana's field is Rwanda's success story with waste management, a country that was plunged into civil war for more than a decade. However, one could drive for more than 30 minutes around Rwanda's capital, Kigali, without coming across fields, and this is so because Rwanda has banned the use of polybags and replaced with paper bags. The shoulders of all major roads in Kigali have been landscaped, neatly paved with a greeny environment. But the story is not the same in Ghana, as the Sekenita Kwadi Metropolis, for instance, spends thousands of Ghana cities to pay waste management companies to clean the fields in the city. I'm very sure STMA uh, generates roughly about 300, then about from 300 going tons a day. So if you look at 300 tons a day that they generate in a bath, then you are talking about getting to about 3,000, 68 to about 4,000 tons in a year of waste that they create. That is only uh, STMA. So when you add all the adjoining districts together, then you understand the volume of waste that is uh, uh, being produced. But what are the public stake on burning polybags in Ghana? Well, I think it's a good idea if they ban the polythene bags and replace them with paper bags, since that one is easily um, recycled. I think paper should rather be used instead of rubber. Because looking at our country now, it costs a lot for us to even recycle, if we say we are. And doing the, as I've observed now, we, we are not doing much recycling. And we see a lot of rubbers around. So I think it's costing us a lot, seriously. And considering the cost and the effect of rubbers, I think there should be a ban, seriously, on it. Is there other means city authorities can proactively reduce fields on the streets? In order for us to reduce the littering uh, problem in our, in, our, in our streets, is first, health education should be able to change people's attitude. And again, that's where Zoom Lion has come in. Zoom Lion has established what we call Zoom Kids Clubs in various second, uh, first cycle institution, primary institution, that we are going to use the children as a change, as an agent of change. And that is the first part of the government, uh, common government on health education. Then again, the local authorities, the assemblies, and have various bylaws on sanitation. It must be enforced. The cleanup exercises and the numerous waste dumping sites, like the one you see behind me here, is not the bold way Ghana can confront its waste problems, but a decisive policy like a ban on rubber bags, as Rwanda has done, as a measure to fully and seriously confront the problem of waste. For Vasatwa News, I am Kwesi Ejie Enim Takrade.